السلام عليكم ورحمة الله إن الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه أجمعين وبعد respected viewers and my students um, for a long time almost um, more than two months we are holding this program a Quranic show voice of the Quran you are watching my viewers and um, obviously we love to watch any program Quranic program Islamic program and this program was very beneficial especially in this lockdown time and for, for our children they enjoyed this and they have learned and practiced with us some rules of Tajweed and uh, some verses of uh, Surah Baqarah. Today is our lesson 15 and today is the last lesson of this batch uh, and inshallah we'll recite today ayat number 285 and 286 the last two verses of Surah Al-Baqarah last two verses of Surah Baqarah is very blessed and uh, uh, lots of benefits in it in Hadith Sharif we found Allah SWT responds this ayat the uh, one Surah Surah Al-Fatiha after reciting uh, each ayat, Allah SWT responds and uh, replies, which is very blessing for us. And um, also, last two verses of Surah Baqarah. It is every single ayat of Surah uh, of Quran is blessed, but some special ayat and surahs they have special benefit and uh, and virtue. Likewise, uh, two verses of Surah Baqarah is virtuous. Allah SWT we found in Hadith Sharif. Allah SWT has revealed these two verses in Sidratul Muntaha. In Hadith Sharif, Prophet said, Allah SWT has gifted three special things to him for the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When Prophet um, went to Mi'raj to meet Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and he explored um, Jannat and Jahannam, Paradise and Hell, everything. So Allah SWT gifted him three special things, five times prayer, we know the story of prayer, how Allah SWT uh, gifted him, but five times finally. And uh, repentance, tawbah, it is a special favor from Allah SWT for Ummah of Prophet Muhammad SAW. And these last two verses of Surah Al-Baqarah. And Prophet SAW said, if someone recites last two verses of Surah Al-Baqarah um, before he, go, he going to, uh, goes to sleep, Allah SWT will guard him. Allah SWT, this is sufficient, enough for him to get security from Allah SWT and to get the protection from the evils of genes, any kind of evil. So we'll practice that. My students have requested, please, um, I know most of you may have memorized these two verses of Surah Baqarah and whoever didn't memorize yet, I will request you, please memorize these last two verses of Baqarah and try to recite at night before you're going to sleep. Allah SWT will give you protection from evils. Okay, let's um, start our program today. I'm going to recite first Surah uh, Baqarah, last two verses of Surah Al-Baqarah. Inshallah, you listen to me, then we'll go to our students. A'udhu <laughs> Billahi الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم آمن الرسول بما إليه من ربه والمؤمنون كل آمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله 
لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله وقالوا سمعنا وأطعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت رب ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولا لنا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين صدق الله العظيم الحمد لله I have recited last two verses of Surah Al-Baqarah which is a repentance. We repent Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We, we ask His forgiveness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all of our sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all of our family members and deceased, whoever passed away. Let's start. Um, we'll go over our student. I will call my student first. I can see here Sayyid Rahman. Sayyid Rahman will recite first uh, ayat number 285. First ayat of Surah Al Baqarah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sayyid Rahman, you are looking very nice, mashallah. You are wearing a nice scarf. How are you today? I'm good, mashallah. And mashallah. I'm going, um, I'm going to be reading Surah Al Baqarah, ayah 285. Okay, inshallah, go ahead. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه من ربه إليه من ربه والمؤمنون كل آمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه والرسول لا نفرق بين أحد من رسوله وقالوا سمعنا وطعنا غفرانك رب أنا وإليك المصير صدق الله العظيم. Okay, ما شاء الله. سيد رحمان you have recited good according to your ability. Um, have I, you did some mistakes? We have to uh, correct this. Yeah. 
have our program um, going to be finished um, after this lesson but we'll keep you practicing yeah because until we die we have to practice Quran and we have to recite Quran okay listen to me um, first Rasulu it's a singular number in Arabic Wahid Sin Waupeshu that's why Rasulu is uh, is uh, has a long sound and Rusuli is plural yeah more than one messengers so when you recite Rusuli it should be short there is no reason to make a long sound and Bima Unzila it was a form of Mad Mad Al Munfasil Bima after Madlata in the beginning of next word we found Hamza and Malaikati in the middle of this ayat Malaika also a plural word angels so it is Mad Muttasil after Mad symbol we found here Hamza in the same word close to Mad letter and then inshallah you will uh, practice more you have time and you have the rest of life still you are very young Allah SWT will give you ability to recite Quran perfectly and correctly I'm going to my next student I can see here Sajid Khan Sajid Khan will recite ayat number 286 of Surah Baqarah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And I'll be reciting ayat 286 of Surah Baqarah. Okay, mashallah, go ahead. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا ربنا لا تؤاخذنا نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقه لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا انت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين صدق الله العظيم MashaAllah, Sajid Khan have recited very good, yeah, um, according to Tajweed rules, you perform Tajweed rules um, better than other programs, Alhamdulillah, I make dua for you, Allah SWT will give you more ability, however there are small mistakes are there, um, as a teacher I have to count it that, because you uh, good future, uh, Mim and Nun, these two letters when they have Tashdid, there will be a um, compulsory nasal sound, Wajib Gunna, like to ham you missed it and when you stop oba any any word you have to be careful you can't um, you, you can't miss anything however you are stopping but you have to perform properly like ma la taqata lana bi bazir bi when ba has kasra not ba okay Inshallah, you will notice that in, uh, late uh, in future. And Maulana also, this word has uh, long sound two times. 
Maulana Lam is long and Noon is also long. The rest of the reading was very good. MashaAllah. May Allah SWT reward you properly. I'm going to my another student. I'm going to Shah Khadija Uddin. Uh, Khadija will recite ayat number 285 of Surah Baqarah. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Khadija and I'll be reading ayat number 285 of Surah Baqarah. Wa alaikum Khadija. How are you today? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you know uh, we are going to finish this program? Today is the last lesson. Yeah. Inshallah, mm -hmm. after a few days, we may start restart our new batch. Anyway, um, when you say something like Arabic sentence, yeah, um, whether it is from Hadith Sharif or from Quran, then we have to pronounce every single letter properly. Yeah, like Assalamu Alaikum. Yeah, Sin has touched it. Okay, start your recitation, please. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون كل آمن بالله والملائكة وملائكته وكتبه ورسله لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله وقالوا سمعنا وأتعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير صدق الله العظيم ما شاء الله خديجة الدين has recited very nice um, but I have counted few mistakes, small mistakes. Like a Ra when related to Zabur or Pesh, yeah, when Ra has Fata or Dhamma or anyway related to Zabur or Pesh, you have to make it full mouth. Like Amana Rasulu Rasu Ra. Okay? And Ha, you didn't touch the departing place of Ha properly. Ahadim. Ahadim mir rusuli. Practice Bismillah. You'll find Ha there. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. And Swad also full mouth. Wa ilaykal masir. Masir. And rest of the reading was very good. MashaAllah. I'm happy with this reading. I'm going to my next student. I can see here Arif Rahman. Arif Rahman will recite ayat number 286, the last ayat of Surah Baqarah. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Arif Rahman and I'm going to recite Surah Baqarah and the last ayat of Surah Baqarah. Okay, go ahead, please. I will do
Okay, MashaAllah, little boy, Arif Rahman, you have recited according to your ability, we understood. Um, but you did some little mistakes. Uh, I have to mark this and uh, you have to notice this in future. Wus'aha, the location of wow, makhraj of wow. Wus'aha, from two lips. When you blow up something like a from yeah, you will make your lips circle like a petal, yeah, and then you will pronounce wow from lips. Wus'aha, in last program we discussed about the makhraj of wow. La tarawunna, in this word, wus'aha, and also hams, yeah, the letter kaf and ta, when they will have uh, jossom or because of stop, if you stop about these, uh, these letters, then you have to perform a squeaky sound, you, you have to press on the letter, then a, an extra sound will come out, this is called hams, like mak tasabat, mak tasabat, Inshallah, we'll, uh, t uh, we'll discuss about that, about the hams, in our Tajweed lesson today, Inshallah. And also, to Akhilna, this ayat is very hard to recite, I know. And you got this ayat. And Ain, look after, uh, look after the letter of Ain, from the middle of throat. Wa fu anna, wa, wa fu anna, wa gfir lana. And fan surna alif is silent in this word. You said fa'an, but alif is silent. There is no symbol with alif. Fan surna ala al qawmil kafirin. Rest of the reading was good, mashallah. Inshallah, we'll go to a short break and you'll have a break. Have some drink or water. Rest few minutes and stay with us until we finish the program. Today is the last program. In our next segment, we will practice Tajweed rules and the last surah of Quran, Surah An Nas. Today we will practice, inshallah. Viewers, stay with us until we finish our program. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome back to our program again. Uh, respective viewers, uh, we are watching a Quranic show, Voice of Quran. Today is the last lesson, lesson 15. And uh, we are hearing recitation from our students. Inshallah, in this segment, we will listen to our students' recitation. Some rest of the students, they are uh, waiting to recite. And then also, we will practice one rule of uh, Tajweed, which is Sifat, very important. It is a big subject, but um, I will just highlight briefly for you just a light knowledge. And the rest of that, inshallah, we'll practice one to one if you have a teacher uh, from any sources. So let's go to our student first. I'm going to m uh, my next participant, Ali Ahmed Mahfouz. Ali Ahmed Mahfouz, you will start your recitation and give your introduction, please. You will recite ayat number. 286, last ayat. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Ali Ahmed Mahfuz and I'll be reciting the last ayat of Surah Baqarah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. لا يخلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما هملت 
ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما هملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به وأعف عنا واغفر لنا ورحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين صدق الله العظيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته محفوظ يبرو سايتد جود ما شاء الله and also I found you um, you're improving your reading ما شاء الله but still some small mistakes in your reading I have to correct this as my responsibility. You know, um, except Qalqala letters, all others Arabic alphabet, they will, they will be stable when you get Sakin. You know, um, Qalqala letters are five. There are five letters of Qalqala, Qaf, Ta, Ba, Jim, Dal. And rest all other letters, they're stable. You can't bounce with these letters. To Akhizna, Zal is not letter of Qalqala. To Akhizna, and also Wa'fu'anna, Wa'gfirlana, Wa'gfirlana, you can't bounce with Ghain, and Fansurna, okay, you have to be careful when you get second letter, except Qalqala letters, we are not allowed to make any bounce sound with any other letters. And rest of the reading was good. MashaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase you in recitation of Quran properly and correctly. I'm going to next participants. I can see here uh, Nabila Ahmed. Nabila Ahmed is waiting for long. She will recite ayat number 285 of Surah Baqarah. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. My name is Nabila Ahmed. And today I will be reciting um, Ayah 285. Okay. <laughs> Can you repeat this part of this? Uh, can you repeat this ayat, please again? Ilahi <laughs> كُلٌّ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَمَلَائِكَتِهِ وَكُتُوبِهِ وَرُسُلِهِ لَا نُفَارِقُ بَيْنَ أَحَادٍ مِنْ رُسُولِهِ مِنْ رُسُولِهِ مِنْ رُسُولِهِ وَقَالُوا سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا Okay, mashallah, you have recited according to your ability, but um, you have done mistake in Amana Rasulu. You did something wrong here. Remember, Amana Rasulu Bima. You have to read this place like this. Because Nun will join Ra. And then Mir Rabbihi, after Nun Sakin, when the letter Ra comes, this is called Idram Bilagunna. You have to skip Nun Sakin here and you will join Ra directly. Mim will join Ra directly, we'll skip Nun. Mir Rabbihi wal Mu'minun. And um, rest of the ayat. What's good, but you have to practice more. You have, you have to prepare your reading before you're going to perform something and 
especially uh, for recitation of Quran. Okay, I'm going to my next participant. I can see here Muhammad Din Hafiz. Muhammad Din Hafiz will recite ayat number 286, last ayat of Surah Al Baqarah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Muhammad Hafiz. I'm from London. I'll be reciting uh, Surah Al Baqarah, verse 286. I just have to say thank you, Azar. Jazakallah for uh, the past 15 lessons. You've supported us a lot and we've learned a lot. Okay, barakallah fi hayatik. And inshallah, you may contact me anytime if you need any help. I will help you over the phone, inshallah. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا Okay, mashallah, you have recited very nicely with a melodious sound. Allah SWT increase your voice as well. Um, a small, some small mistakes I counted um, will be better to remind you. As wus'aha, yeah, remember when you pronounce the letter wow, wus'aha, and ikhfa, yeah. Um, f in few programs I found you were, you were performing ikhfa very nicely. Today again you lost this performance. Like fan sur na, not fan, fan, you, you, your target is coming later. After nun saki no tanwin, your uh, target will be the coming letter of ikhfa. If it is swad, then head toward the swad. If it is ta, then uh, make a target, you have to approach the uh, ta. Okay? Like fan sur na. Here you have uh, recorded voice again. Inshallah, you can correct yourself. Anta maulana. Rest of the reading was very good, and you performed other um, with was very good, which I liked. And uh, may Allah subhanahu wa taala will give you more ability, and, and your sound and your voice is very good. Mashallah, look after your voice as well. Yeah, inshallah, in future you will be a good reciter. I'm going to Hassan Ahmed very quickly to recite ayat number 285. Hassan Ahmed. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Amana al-Rasul bima unzila 
Can't split the word. Read full word. Samir na wa ata na. Samir na wa ata na kufana ka paka ay kang masir sa dalawalanim. Okay, mashallah, Hassan. You haven't tried properly. Did you practice properly uh, before you going to read? You know, uh, practice. There is no way without practicing something. And um, uh, still, you have a long life. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. I will pray for you for your long span, uh, lifespan. So you have to practice as we wish. You will be a hafiz. Yeah, future hafiz, and you are studying in madrasa. Your recitation should be better than others. Okay. I counted, uh, but just um, I'm not uh, counting all mistakes. Some of them which um, knocked me in my mind to remind you. You know, Amana Rasulu and Rusuli. Remember, this is there is not um, any reason to make a long sound. Yeah. And also, Wa Malaikatihi Mad Mutasil. You missed it. La Nufariku. Ra will be empty mouth because Ra has Zer. Kasra. And look after Ain. Most of us we found difficult to pronounce the letter Ain. Samir na wa ata na. You're not touching the proper place of the Ain. Makhraj of Ain. Samir na wa ata na. Okay, mashallah. If you practice one day, you will be a good reciter. I can see here a little boy is waiting to recite. Hafiz. Anas Ali. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How are you, Anas Ali? MashaAllah, little boy Anas. You are looking very smart today. You are wearing turban. Did you did you um, wrap your turban or someone helped you? Oh, MashaAllah. Good at uh, making turban. Okay, mashallah, you are looking very good because this is the last lesson. And Anas, a very famous, uh, one of the prominent Sahaba, and he uh, spent almost 10 years in the house of Prophet Sallallahu Subhanallah, he was like a part of Prophet family. And there's a long story with Anas ibn Malik anhu. Okay, Anas, you will be reciting ayat number 286 of Surah Baqarah. <coughs> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا يكلف الله نفسا Oh. 
kafilina Rabbana wa la tuhammilna ma la taqata lana bih wa'afu anna wa ghafiru lana wa ruhamna wa ruhamna Masha'Allah, Hafiz Anas Ali, you have recited very uh, like confidently, yeah? Your reading was a strong reading, Masha'Allah. Um, maybe you didn't notice you have done little mistakes, yeah? In uh, Hams, Mak, Ta, Sa, but especially Kaf and Ta, when they will have Jozom, or because of any other reason, if they become Sakin, you have to take the sound out. Mak, Tasa bat, okay, and is rang swadis full mouth, and also hams letter, is rang kama, and when ra is sakin and comes after kasra or zer, ra is empty mouth. Remember, anyhow, ra is related to zer or kasra, then we have to make it empty mouth. Waghfir lana, you made it full mouth. Maybe you didn't notice, yeah? And fansur na, it is full mouth. Ra came after, dhamma or pesh. Fansur na, ala al qawmil kafirin. Qaf is the letter of full mouth, but af after qaf, waw sakin. If you make it too much full mouth, it will be qawmil, not, not like that. Alal qaw, qawmil, not qawmil, okay? Sometimes we use this word in Bengali and English as well, Some, uh, sorry, in uh, Muslim people they use this word. Sometimes we say qawm, yeah? But uh, the real word is qaw, qaf khuzbur, qaw. Alal qawmil kafirin. Your reading was very good. Don't be upset. I just corrected you for your future. Allah SWT will accept you a good hafiz, a reciter, a qari, inshallah. And um, viewers, in this segment, um, time is very short. Inshallah, after this segment, in last segment, we'll discuss about the sifat. Sifat is very important. Makhraj first, then sifat. Without sifat, you can't, sifat means um, quality, attribute, quality of the letter. Every single letter has a different sound. Like every single man and woman, every individual has a different quality. Like this, every single letter has a different pronunciation. This is called sifat. Makhraj is departing place, place we pronounce from the, uh, we pronounce the letter from the uh, location. But sifat is the sound. Subhanallah, sifat is very important. We'll discuss this very briefly in last segment, inshallah. Um, now let's go um, to a short break. And after break, we'll practice a surah as well, inshallah. Surah Nas. Last surah today. Make a note um, of this number. There is a number on TV screen. You can recite this surah to us, uh, calling an, an audio call, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome back to our Quranic show, Voice of the Quran. Today we are practicing lesson 15 and last lesson of this batch. Inshallah, we will learn today uh, sifat. Sifat in Arab, sifat is an Arabic word. Sifat means quality, attribute. As every single single individual has quality, like. Um, someone has a quality to recite Quran, someone has a, another quality, he can play uh, football, someone can uh, cook nicely, someone, is different, different qualities. Every single 
men and women has a different quality. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us with different quality. <coughs> so every single Arabic letter has also quality. Sometimes we think zal, za, za. They, they sound similar, still they have difference. Subhanallah, they are different. Sa, zal, za. Yeah? Sometimes za, jim. These letters, they sound a little bit similar, but also different. We have to segregate when you pronounce. Okay, let's discuss about sifat very briefly. In this shortage of time, uh, we um, can't finish this. Just I'm giving an idea how to practice sifat. Sifat, qualities of Arabic letter. Sifat, totally sifats are 18. If you count tawassut, a separate sifat. Between Shidda and Jahawa, there is a small sifat. This is called Tawasut. Tawasut means um, medium. <coughs> there are two types of sifat. Eighteen sifats, they are divided into two groups. First is Mutadadda. If you see on TV screen. Okay. Have a, um, this. It's not very much clear, but. I'm just uh, reading, listen to me. There are two types of sifat, mutadadda and ghair mutadadda. There are ten sifat, first ten sifat, you can see on, the, on our right hand side. They are mutadadda, opposite to each other. There are ten, jahar, hams, shiddah, rikhawa. Between shiddah and rikhawa, there is a sifat, also a small sifat. If you count this tawassut between shiddah and rikhawa, if you count tawassud separate, then 18. Total sifats are 18. If you don't count, if you uh, put uh, uh, tawassud with rikhawa, then 17. Then isti'la, istifal, infitah, itbaq, izlaq, ismat. These are 10 mutadadda. If you find a letter in jahar, you will not find in hams. If you find a letter in shiddah, you will not find in Rikhawa like this. They have opposition, of opposite um, relation. And rest seven sifat, there are seven sifat uh, which are called Ghair Mutadadda. Ghair Mutadadda also very important. They are Safir, Qalqala, Lean, Inhiraf, Takrir, Tafashi, Istitala. Okay. We are not able to discuss all sifat, eighteen sifat today. We'll, um, I just picked few sifat to give you highlight, <coughs> like hams. We are just uh, skipping jahar now. Hams is very important. Hams has a squeaky sound, a special sound. Hams is ten letters. You can see here on next slide. Next slide, please. Okay, here, <coughs> Hams. Hams letter, they are called Mahmusa. Yeah? Ha, Tha, Ha, Shin, Kha, Swad, Fa, Sin, Kaf, Ta. If we put them together, we can make uh, some rand random word. Like, Ha, Tha, Hu, Shakh, Sun, Fasakat. This is uh, very easy way to memorize, to keep in memory. Those ten letters, when they have Sakin, because of Jossam, or if you stop over one of these letters, we have to take the sound out. You have to press the letter, and then you will find a, a, an, an extra sound. Like, Rahma, Ha is sakin here. Ar Rahman. So, Ha is sakin now. We will get a, a extra sound. Ar Rah, Fa this. Okay, Ha is sakin now. Fa this. This sound is getting out. This is called hams. This sound is called hams, and this is this quality is called hams. And shin ha swad. When they are sakin, we have to we have to press them harder. Then we'll find an extra sound, like ah raja, yuh reju. Sound is coming out. Yes, shin mushrikun swad haris. Haris fansurna. Um, you know what? These ten letters, when they are sakin, 
we have to press on them harder. Always, if you don't press them harder, the sound will not get out. Their hands, especially ta, za, sin, swad, ha. If you don't press on them, when they are sucking, you will notice it's not coming out properly. A little bit far, you will not understand which letter you are reading. So they are a little bit strong letter, their hams letter. So look after hams letter, hams letter. There are ten letters of hams. Hathahu shaksun fasaka. They are together. We made some words here. And then isti'la, very important. Isti'la means full mouth. I'm not going to um, details, uh, the literal meaning or uh, terminological meaning. Just isti'la, it is a special term of tajweed. Isti'la uh, uh, isti contains seven letters. We discussed uh, them in our few programs. Swad, Dwad, Ta, Zwa. Fa, uh, swad, Dwad, Ta, Zwa, Kha, Gain, Qaf. Kha, Gain, Qaf. Swad, Dwad, Ta, Zwa. These full letters, very much full mouth and always full mouth. Whether they have Zobor, Zer, Pesh, whether they have Kasra, Fata, Dhamma, yeah? whether they are Sakin or they have any symbol, it's no matter. The first full letter, Swad, Dwad, Ta, Zwa, always full mouth. And kha, gain, qaf, they have conditions. If they are related with zabr or pesh, dhamma, uh, fatah, then full mouth. When these last three letters, kha, gain, qaf, are related to zer, kasra, then they are empty mouth. Like gha, si, qin, not queen. Gha, si, qin. Yeah. Then come to Another sifat, I picked here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sifat amongst the 18, which is very important. Swafir, Swafir, especially Swafir means, um, if it is comes from Asfar, Swafir means a uh, sound of uh, sparrow, you know the bird, sparrow, a squeaky sound, also uh, a special sound. Za sin swad, when we pronounce these three letters, we found uh, like a, a bad sound, like as. Is a zul zilati as habil feel as a squeaky sound. Sin also. Rih letter shitai was soif swad. As fala sin. As fala sa filin. You have to let the sound um, get out. Za sin swad also very strong letter when they are sakin. Always very strong. We have to press on them. And an extra sound will come out. And qalqala, it is very um, common to us. Qaf, ta, ba, jim, dal. When they are sakin, or if you stop about these, any of these five letters, we have to uh, make a bounce sound with these letters. Qaf, ta, ba, jim, dal. Read Surah Falaq, you will find many examples of Surah, uh, of qalqala. Uh, and tafashi. Tafashi means spreading the sound. Shin, only one letter, uh, which spreads the sound everywhere. Like, أعوذ بالله من Can you hear a, a sound is spreading? Yeah, a big sound is uh, spreading out. And istithala, last sifat we, uh, we picked, dwad. Istatwala contains only one letter, Dwad. Istatwala means um, also spreading sound, but this uh, sound will spread um, along the side something, like um, uh, it's alongside a long sound. Yeah? Basically, we will spread sound, but the sound will uh, prolong the, um, itself. Dwad as um, Dwad is also spreading sound when we pronounce the letter Dwad, but it uh, comes out uh, alongside the uh, gums of molars. Yeah, like Wad Duha sound is coming alongside uh, a lines of the molars teeth. Yeah, molars. You will feel that Dwad is the Sifat is also very important and hard to understand. You have to. Practice sifat one to one with the teacher, like TV program or over phone or um, t telephone. It's not possible. You have to copy a teacher. You have to learn in details. So remember, there are seventeen sifat. If we count 
tawassud with them than 18 and there are also 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 sifats are very important hams isti'la qalqala tafashi and istithala and safir also and one sifat takrir it is forbidden takrir means repeating yeah if you repeat something when you press the letter ra takrir contains only one letter when you repeat letter ra when you press letter ra ra wants to get repeated but we have to stop that this is also a sifat a quality but we are not allowed to perform that when we recite quran like you can't say bismillahir rahman this repeating repetition is called takrir it is forbidden yeah we have to prevent our tongue to get repeated yeah so takrir is not allowed remember takrir is also a takrir also is a, a, a sifat but it is forbidden to perform so <coughs> time is very short i'm not um, going to this side again we will practice the last surah of quran surah an nas i'll recite first and then i, uh, I will take some colors inshallah you will recite to us A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Qul a'udhu bi rabbin nas malikin nas ilahin nas min sharril waswasil khannas الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس. جيم بهيا. نون هست تشديد. This is واجب بنا. We have to start with nasal sound and. Almost every single letter as, uh, ayat has sin at the end. Nas. We have to pronounce sin clearly. And also, this is dislike to Qurra, uh, reciters of the Quran, uh, Quran. They don't like to stop over the small ayat, small ayat. But for a beginner or a learner, they can practice like that. Yeah. Suppose sometimes we hear Qul a'udhu bi rabbin nasi malikin nasi ilahin nas This is better Min sharril waswasil khannas Alladhi yuwaswisu fi sudurin nasi minal jinnati wan nas Okay, we'll take some callers, insha'Allah. Let's see who is in the uh, first call. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa 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 alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alasi. Alhamdulillahi mina shaitoni rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qul a'udhu bi Rabbin nas. Malikin nas. Ilahin nas. Min sharril khutwasil khan nas. Alladhi wat isu fi sudurin. Okay, mashallah. After Shunduri say, Kyalra Bamin Sharil was wa tutia for a lagu wa was wa sil. Jina ask a time cook short. Alazi was wisu. Okay, I'm going to next call. Salam alaikum. Waalaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bala sin yudur. Ji alhamdulillah. Fara shuru fari dhukha please. Inshallah. 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسط واس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس. اوكي ما شاء الله. افر practice هو تدخل با. ار زهون ران نسي بار را زودي ساكين تخيار زيرور با ديا را باري كوي. شري شري. Today time is very short. Um, we are not taking um, yes, more callers yes. today. We apologize to our, our callers. Inshallah, next time I will be able to the program. Uh, I am going to a video call here. Usman Chaudhuri. Please start your recitation quickly, please. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Usman Chaudhuri. I will be reciting. Go ahead, please. Yeah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس القناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس صدق الله العظيم. Okay, ما شاء الله أسمان شهدر. We have recited very good. Yeah, I liked your recitation. दर्शक प्रिय दोस्तों आपने आज देखा चंद वॉइस ऑफ कुरान हम रा आज के शर्मशेष लेसन याद ची पौन रोथों में लेसन है हमारे साथ एक जन गेस्ट आ चंद थी ना एक्चुअली इन्हीं हमारे गेस्ट नो है हमारे प्रोग्राम में एक टी ऑन्शो थी ना हमारे प्रोग्राम उत्तम शुंद्र के प्लान के प्रोड्यूसर हमारे साथ आ चंद � तीनी पेशन तक के उन्हें कोस्टो करें जैसे बंग आरोधु जन मानुष ने नाम आमी अपना दिल के बोले रखी अमादर टेक्निकल साइट का आज कोर्ट चल फिर दूसरा भाई एवं लिंकोन भाई उन्हरा अल्लाह उन्हें दिल के परिपूर्ण जाजा दान करूँ अमादर प्रोग्राम में खूब शोहर जुटा कोर्ट चल अल्लाह उन्हें दिल के � अकरम भाई आपने आदेश पर आज के जुगदीय से नंबर छात्र चीज़ आपने फेस टैक टू पुरी चीज़ माने देखो एक मानुष जब आपने शादारों प्रोग्रामों करें ना बार इस्तामिक प्रोग्राम में शादारों जोड़ी तो आचन अल्लाह आपने ये एफेक्ट के खुबूल करूँ दोनों बाद विशेष करे अशुले शादारों प्रो अमें जीनों मानुष के सिस्टी कोई जो शुद्ध मात्रों अमारी बात तेरे जन्नो, तो इकने अन्नु के जो कोरा रखूँ शुजुक नहीं, एर पर अमें चेस्टा करती जेस जगह अमादेर जेस स्किल आचे, शेस स्किल टा जुदे काजल लगानो जाए स्लामर खेद मोते, एवं अमें आपनर प्रति आंतरिक भावे कितो गोता ज्ञापन करती, जे � एवं अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह आज के पौनरों तो मैं लेसन एंड माध्यमे आमदेर ये सीरीज़ फास्ट सीरीज़ कंप्लीट हुए चे सक्सेसफुली सो ऐतो शुंदर कोरे कंप्लीट हुए चे आर एयर माध्यमे आम्रा जे आरो कोतो आमदेर मुसलमान भाई रेटर ज्वाइन करे चे आमी आज के जवाबे ज्वाइन करे ची तो दूर बेकी भाबे उन्नानो एकाद बहुत अच्छी लो, तादर जी एटेंडेंस तो अच्छी लो, आमी अल्लाह पक्का बोला लामिनर दोबारा शुक्रिया दाय ज्ञापन करती, आरेक्टी विषय आमी बोलते चाहे, 
আমাদের একটা যে গ্রুপ আছে হোয়াটসঅ্যাপ গ্রুপে আপনি ইতিমধ্যে দুইজন ব্যক্তির নাম বলেছেন আমাদের ফেড দোস ট্রান্সমিশনের যিনি দায়িত্বে আছেন আর আমাদের প্রোডাকশনের দায়িত্বে আছেন আমাদের লিঙ্কন ওনারা কিন্তু খুব সুন্দরভাবে লিঙ্কগুলো দিচ্ছেন এখন যে প্রযুক্তির সময় প্রযুক্তির উৎকর্ষে আমরা কাজটা করতে পারছি এবং আমার মনে চাই যে এনটিভির পর্দায় আমাদের ভয়েস অফ কোরআনের আজকের এই প্রোগ্রামটি মাধ্যমে একটি বিষয় আমি বলতে চাই যে এইভাবে যখন মসজিদ বন্ধ মাদ্রাসা বন্ধ এই বাচ্চাদের জন্য এই লেসনটির মাধ্যমে আমার বিশ্বাস আরো হাজার হাজার ঘরে বসে আমাদের শিশু শিশুরা উপকৃত হয়েছেন এবং পিতা মাতা গণ উপকৃত হয়েছেন এই দিতে পারি এটা আমাদের পক্ষে মাধ্যমে ওনার হুকুমে যে করা সম্ভব হয়েছে এই জন্য আল্লাহর দরবারে আমি অশেষ মানে আমি মনে করি যে নিজে ধন্য মনে করছি এবং আমি আমাকে যেন তৌফিক দান করেন ভবিষ্যতে কাজ করার করার জন্য আমি আরেকজনের নাম বলতে চাই যিনি আমাদের সব সময় পেছন থেকে উৎসাহ দিয়েছেন আমরা প্রথম যখন মিটিং করেছি আপনি যখন প্রথম এসেছেন আমাদের মোস্তফা সারোয়ার বাবু ভাই আমাদের সম্মানিত ডাইরেক্টর এবং আমাদের সিও সাবিনা হুসেন ওনারা অনুপ্রেরণার মাধ্যমে আমাদের এই অনুষ্ঠানটি আলহামদুলিল্লাহ আমার বিশ্বাস এই সিরিজের পরে আমরা আরেকটি সিরিজ যখন শুরু করব আমরা একটি আমি দর্শকের উদ্দেশ্যে একটু বলতে চাই এবং আমাদের যারা পার্টিসিপেশন পার্টিসিপেট পার্টিসিপেটেন ছিলেন আমাদের তাদের উদ্দেশ্য বলতে চাই যে আমরা আগামী সপ্তাহটা হয়তো বা বিরতি দেওয়ার দিতে পারি দ্বিতীয় সেগমেন্ট শুরু করার আগে দ্বিতীয় সিরিজ শুরু করার আগে তবে একটা আমরা সার্টিফিকেট সেরোমনি করব যে এই যে হাজার হাজার দর্শকের সামনে আপনার বদলতে আপনার শিক্ষার মাধ্যমে আমরা একটি লেসন সম্পন্ন করার সুযোগ হয়েছে এবং সম্ভব হয়েছে সেটা যাতে আমরা আরো সুন্দর করে তাদেরকে একটা রেকগনেশন করতে পারি সে উদ্দেশ্যে আমরা যাচ্ছি এবং আলহামদুলিল্লাহ আমাদের যারা সহযোগিতায় পৃষ্ঠপোষক ছিলেন আমি তাদেরকে ধন্যবাদ জানাতে চাই বাংলা টাউন কেশন কারির আমাদের রফিক হায়দার ভাই এবং এম অ্যাকাউন্টেন্সির আমাদের মোহাম্মদ আয়াস মিয়া অ্যাকাউন্টেন্ট এবং আমাদের যে ফিল্প রিলিফ যেটা এন টিভির মাধ্যমে আমরা রমজানেও বেশ কিছু কাজ করার জন্য উদ্যমী ছিলাম সো এই তিনটা প্রতিষ্ঠানের মাধ্যমে আমাদের এই পৃষ্ঠপোষক তারা করেছেন তাদেরকে আমি ধন্যবাদ জানাতে চাই এবং পাশাপাশি আমার আমার কাছে যে বিষয়টি সবচেয়ে বেশি ভালো লাগছে শেখ কারি আলী আহমেদ আপনার এত প্রাণবন্ত উপস্থাপনা এবং সবকিছু এত অর্গানাইজলি আপনি করেছেন প্রয়োজন আছে বলে মনে করি না তবে দর্শকের উদ্দেশ্যে বলবো যে আমরা এন টিভি পরিবারের সাথে কাজ করে আমি আমার অনেক ভালো লেগেছে এবং ইনশাল্লাহ আমরা চেষ্টা করব ভবিষ্যতে আপনাদেরকে আরও বেশি বেশি ইসলামিক প্রোগ্রামগুলো উপহার দেওয়ার জন্য আমাদের সাথে থাকবেন আপনাদের যাদের কন্ট্যাক্ট আছে এবং আমাদের সাথে যোগাযোগ রাখবেন ইনশাল্লাহ আমার আপনাদের সুন্দর পরামর্শ আপনাদের সুন্দর অ্যাডভাইস পেলে আমরা ইসলামিক প্রোগ্রামগুলোকে আরও ভালোভাবে সাজাতে পারবো আপনাদের সহযোগিতা একান্ত প্রয়োজন আল্লাহ তালা আমাদের সকলের নিয়াত সকলের এই কষ্ট এবং যারা পর্দার পেছন থেকে এবং সামনে থেকে আমাদেরকে সহযোগিতা করেছেন সকলের এই শ্রমকে আল্লাহ কবুল করুন এবং আমাদের যারা স্পন্সর ছিলেন তাদের সহযোগিতাকেও আল্লাহ কবুল করুন আপনাদের পক্ষ থেকে যদি আমাদের যারা শিশু বাচ্চারা যারা আছেন তাদেরকে যদি আপনারা অ্যাটেন্ড করাতে চান তাহলে আমাদের সাথে যোগাযোগ করবেন আমাদের যে স্ক্রিনে নাম্বার আছে এবং আমরা খুব শীঘ্রই একটা প্রমো ছাড়বো সেকেন্ড পর্বের জন্য আপনারা <laughs> <laughs>